Okay, so let us now understand by going through logs. I failed it intentionally. Don't think that trainer have written wrong script and trying himself to debug. So that's intentionally I have failed it and I will show why it had failed. First of all, um, cy.visit which will hit the URL. So it is clearly visible here. The command whatever you provided, visit. And next, get keyword. This is what you typed it here, right? Yeah, get and then you type and you have wait for two seconds and then you tried giving assertion. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you one important feature of the Cypress and no other automation tool have this feature. Let's say your test failed. You want to know how exactly it failed on what step it failed. You can time travel. That's what this guy says. So you can go back and watch what happened on each and every step. So now if you click on this get method, so it's clearly telling that control of Cypress moved like this. Thereafter type, click on this. Okay. When you click on this type CA, this is the before screenshot, before typing those two letters. And when you click after, look at this cursor, click on this after and you see CA is typed. That's super, right? It's giving the screenshot for each and every event. After your test case ran, you can go back and see what happened on every step. This is what lagging for current automation tools. My, in my personal view, um, we need to know why the test failed. Test will suddenly get failed and we will not understand the exact reason. But with this way, now when you type, it's saying that before state was like this and after it was CA. And also you see that red pinpoint pointing to that. So that means it is saying that my control Cypress is currently located in that area. That is what it is indicating with that red icon. So you may think that where uh, it's going to click. Sometimes your test randomly clicks on another link instead of the link what we are targeting. So you can inspect and see where is your pinpoint. My pinpoint is in this edit box only. So correct. Here is where I need to type and then CA. After when you type CA, you see that immediately only one product is displaying and the way they were, okay, three products displayed immediately. But after some time, you see that all products are displaying. So that's why I put weight. If you don't put weight, you can observe, okay. In other automation tools, when you enter CA, it will fail saying that only three products are present, but you will bang your head. Why only three, but it's loading. When you type CA application may take some milliseconds to load all the four results, right? So that also you can watch carefully and after two seconds of wait, and this is how your page is looking perfect. And now you actually try to get all the products. And then you can see that every, all the four products are getting highlighted when you move on to get product. So that means Cypress identified all these four products, one, two, three, four, but Cypress also identified one more product, which is this one somewhere on the top. We were not sure why. And it was saying that the list, what I retrieved is five, five matched elements, but in our case, there are only four elements on the screen, but Cypress is saying that there are total five elements displayed. That also you can see in your console, how beauty it is. We will not get all this information with any other automation tool. That's why I say for debugging, this is the best and no other tool can beat this in terms of debugging. Now five, total five matched elements are found and you see that there is some I and there is a strike something this icon let's see what is this icon oh cypress also giving us information that one or more matched elements are not in visible mode now we understood 
total four products are what you are seeing on the screen but cypress intelligently told that there are five not four but there is a chance that one of your product may not be in visible mode this information you may not get when you actually do with um, in general automation you will not get that information and you will bang your head to understand what happened and we may assume that maybe it's not visible but in cypress don't worry everything is taken care by this test owner and it's clearly saying that by looking at this we can understand that one element is in invisible mode somewhere with this class name dot product and this is here somewhere that's the reason it's awkwardly highlighting somewhere on the top saying that's not visible okay now assertion we put should assertion right so it's saying that too many elements found I am finding five but you are expecting only four and it also gave us a clue that one is invisible so now how to select elements which are only visible we don't want invisible right in cypress as i said cypress also rely on jquery selectors which is almost same like css in jquery selectors there is a way to retrieve only visible products you can do that by this is your css right to retrieve all the products put colon visible if you write like this your cypress understands that whatever items i am trying to retrieve they should be only visible okay only visible length it captures it will not worry about invisible if you add one colon and write this word called visible okay as i said just save this file and test will automatically trigger again you need not run again from first be it here control uh, save all that's it you see that test started i saved there and test begins execution now let us see what happened perfect everything passed assertion and now you see that upward fifth one is not getting highlighted on the top which it got highlighted earlier and it's also not complaining that nothing is invisible earlier there is an icon saying that one of element may not be in visible mode okay so remember that colon visible will help you to retrieve only visible elements so in our excel sheet let's write a comment that we can see what happened on every step with a screenshot and error messages in cypress which is important feature you may get a questions like why cypress why not other tools like protractor or selenium you should be in position to talk and explain confidently it could be either interview or you may need to propose a new tool in your company then obviously there will be a question why cypress then you can explain all this that these are pain points and where exactly it failed everything i can figure out nice so that's the only core concept of what we thought right okay now let me go back and we have fixed this issue right now out of this four products if i want to select second product that means i want to select carrot and i want to click on add to cart button so this is my requirement i have to carefully pick out my second product so that i can add it to the cart how we can do that we will see in our next lecture thank you